and we're live. And as far as like all the drugs being legalized, like I don't like to do a lot of drugs or anything like that. I really just like smoking weed. We were talking about this today. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about this today and uh, and um, uh, the, 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 the patron discord. And I was, I was, I was saying that like the only other drug that I've ever done that I actually liked was when I was prescribed that codeine syrup. Like if all drugs were legal and I could just go to the store and buy a bottle of codeine syrup, just kind of sip on every now and then, like if you could just take a little bit of that, put it in like some nice cognac, like <laughs> so you're drinking cognac with cough syrup, cognac with fucking codeine in it, right? Like, 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 woo, one of those would put you in a real good place. It's Maybe a not- hospital. <laughs> no, you'd be- look, I'm not suggesting anybody does anything, but I'm just saying, like, if I hypothetically drank a glass of very fine cognac. With like like some Grand Marnier maybe or something like that with a little bit of some peach flavored uh, uh, codeine syrup, it would be one hell of a time for one little nice drink that you'd sip, you know, over the course of an hour or so, or thirty minutes or something. That was good shit. Um, but other than that, like like I have no interest in like doing coke or meth or like like no, I've got of, a I've got an Adderall know. prescription, you know, no, like like drugs. Or just pot, really? Yeah. Yeah, just pot. You know, like like I, and mushrooms. I had terrible experience on. I'm, I, I don't think I want to do that ever again. Um, I I don't like getting on a ride that doesn't have a, a an an off position or you know, there's no off switch to 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 that. Well, Whereas, I'm, I'm, for the non drug people, how does weed have an off switch in a way that this others don't? For me personally, like smoking weed never keeps me high for longer than 20 minutes oh, like and and i'm i mean like my definition of high is probably different than like someone who doesn't smoke a lot like i should be i should have time dilation like like time shouldn't pass for me in the same way that it does for you if i'm high um I'm not talking about like, oh yeah, I've got a little buzz, giggle giggle, I want some pretzels, I'm hungry, my mouth's dry. Like no pussy. I'm talking about getting high. <laughs> like, 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 we're talking about getting fucking stoned here. Big talk for a guy that hasn't touched pot in years. And anyone else thinking the way I t- Kyle and I have the same tolerance right now, and he's acting oh, like some sort of no, pot you expert. do not. Kyle will jump right back to like even when oh. we were at the Colorado trip. Like I, I was more of a you know take a couple hits and be like as Kyle would say like bitch mode buzzed. Or I'm like man, I'm feeling pretty. I'm just I'm kind of toasty. I'm kind of high. And like. I'm like ready to keep playing magic. And Kyle's like round four, like just it's like, okay. All right. And what you're going to want to do here, Kyle is okay. I'll finish it. Once you're done with the hit. So you want to tap. The, okay. I'll take another one, I guess. And it's like, <laughs> before the end of it, it's like, I can't, he did this so he could beat my ass. I can't even remember like whose turn it is. <laughs> I was just being polite. All you gotta do is say, no, I won't. Say, I don't mind smoking at all. But uh, like, like, yeah, I felt like, like a bitch. Like, you and Chiz were ripping right through it. And I was like, are they, are they feeling the same way I am? No, no, we're not. No, we're not. Like, no, they're fine. But, like, Chiz came to my house one time, like, like, so he came in on the bus. I think this was for the uh, survival trip. And, uh, and so like Chiz arrives at my house, like a day before, maybe 36 hours before, and then Woody's going to drive down in a day or two. And, uh, and so I go pick Chiz up at the bus stop in Atlanta mm-hmm. and driving back to my place. And on the way back, I'm like, I got some good weed when we get, get back to my place, man. I know you, I know you're in Cali. I know you've got whatever you want, but I got some good weed, you know, you're, you're going to see, you're going to see. And I did. I had some really good weed. I don't remember where it came from, maybe from Cali, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but like we get back to my place and he hadn't eaten for like eight hours. And the plan was we'll get high and then we'll eat. And I think I had went and got gotten like Taco Bell or something. Cause that's one of my favorite things to eat when I'm just real fucked up. And we're we're out on my front porch and it's it's me and him and somebody else and we're all chatting and uh, I, I had a little water pipe or something like that and I'm just bubble 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 I you know I, I clear a whole bowl at once I'm not sharing the bowl like I, I, it's not that I'm bogarting it like I'm gonna clean it everybody pack it and hand it to you these are we each get a bowl we're not gonna share a bowl like 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 you I'm smoking the whole bowl and you get your own bowl so I, I smoke mine down clear it pack it send it to him he does the same thing sends it back to me 
clear it, pack it, do it again, hand it back to him. And he, I, I look at him, he's looking a little woozy. You know, he hasn't <laughs> eaten. He's, he's, he's like low blood sugar or something over there. He hits it anyway, hands it back to me, D- do it again. I do my third. I, I go to hand it back to him. He's like, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. All right, man. So I just keep going. You know, I'm one after another. And uh, after a while, I realized Chiz hasn't said anything in a while. <laughs> and I, I look at him and he's got that sweat on his upper lip. <laughs> and he's pale as a ghost. Oh, no. and, and he's just looking through me. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, are you all right? You don't look so hot. <laughs> he's like, that's some real good. That's some real strong weed. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, man. I told you it was some real strong weed. You okay? Eat that burrito. He's like, I think I just want to go lay down. <laughs> man, start up fresh tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. He's like, ah, I'm gonna call it a night. I'm, 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 I'm done. <laughs> I mean, you get the, you get to that point with weed where it's just like, I gotta go to bed. Like, I I can't be up anymore. I need to go to sleep. If you're high. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's why I went to concentrate is because like I got to the point where like I got to smoke so much flour to like get time dilated high. So it's, like, it's like we need concentrate now to like e- efficiently and like, yeah. like, like cost effectively like get high anymore. And with dabs, it's like I would have my water. I would be in bed with my water bong, uh, like a little water pipe. Like I had this fancy hand blown deal that was like not like crazy expensive i'm sure people are listening to have like a thousand dollar fucking pipes or something but this was this fancy hand-blown thing i bought in atlanta it was maybe three hundred dollars or something and it looked cool and uh it when you when you do dabs the bowl Mm -hmm. is called a nail um i think yeah yeah and uh they're either made out of titanium or quartz because you get them super hot uh you take a blowtorch and you heat it up to I don't fucking know, 500, 600 degrees, something crazy hot. And then you put your concentrate in there, do this little spinny dippity do thing and it vaporizes in there and you inhale it. Uh, it's doing the same thing. This vape I'm fucking hitting nicotine out of does, but it's fucking THC concentrated to 87% uh, potency. It's, it's crazy fucking strong. And so like, I, I would hit that thing twice in a row, like do two dabs back to back and be so high that i wouldn't put the pipe down <laughs> I, like sometimes i would just come back to and realize i've been holding this pipe for like 30 minutes I'm like holy shit that was well it's time to go again i guess i'm awake again <laughs> like, I'm, I'm conscious and like every now and then though like i get so high that like my grip would like slowly be loosening <laughs> and so like the pipe because the nail is sticking out on one end, it's it's heavy on that end, and that's where it will pivot. So that would swing, and so my grip loosens, and the nail swings around and hits the back of my wrist, like right here, and and it goes. I'm like, ah, ah, ah. But like I'm sure there's a PKA where if you look closely, like if I do something like this, you'll see like a fucking like stab <laughs> on the back of my fucking hand because I I burnt the fucking shit out of myself because i got so goddamn high that like i let the thing slip out of my hand and burn the back of my uh my wrist the concentrate stuff is no joke i remember the first time i tried that in college i'd only smoked like flour up until that point and someone was like hey try a something on this dab rig and like my first thought it was at a buddy's like college apartment where he stayed with a couple of other like really party loving guys and like there's something more intimidating about like, oh, it, trust me, it's just weed. And it's like, no, it's not. That's in a scary little container that's super yeah. concentrated. And you have a torch right there. That's sketchy. Seeing the torch is like, this feels high. Agreed. Than it is. And like, they started heating it up. And I kept like saying like over and over, like, you know, give me a very small amount. Like you guys keep talking about like, oh, this is the most powerful thing on earth. And like, I, I took what I thought was like, if it would have been a hit of flour, it would have been a teensy tiny little hit of flour. Yeah. And I took it and it was maybe like, two minutes later like on the way up like a minute in i'm like i'm fine i'm not gonna get out of control but then the escalator didn't stop and i was like oh this is my plan for the night like i do not are you ready hey you want to go out to the bar no no if you guys are going to the bar i'm gonna go home it's the i'll just sit here and watch tv at your place 
it's the best. It's it was so nice, but it's not a good fun. thing to do and then go out and like socialize like high on or that high at least. At the time I was that level of high where it's like everyone knows. Everyone knows. Ah, uh, to each their own because like I got to the point where like nobody knows. Nobody knows. As long as I keep these sunglasses on, because if you see my eyes, you're like, ah! As long as I've got sunglasses on, you're not going to know. You're not going to know. Nobody's going to know, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be chill with it. I'm not going to be fucking weird. I'm not going to be self-conscious about it. I'm just going to be blazed out of my goddamn mind, and, and nobody will be, uh, you know, nobody will have any fucking idea. I knew a guy in college who, like, his parents were very anti-weed, and they caught him with the red, you know, devil's dick eyes a couple times. And he, like, I was just talking to him one time, you know, just at school. It may have even been in the library, just chatting. And, like, he, like, popped a, a pill. And I was like, oh, damn, dude. Like, you're staying here all night. It's, like, 11.15. Like, I'm about to, to cash out. And he's like, no, dude, that was uh, Vicodin. And I was like, oh, okay. I, I thought, I didn't know you were into that stuff. He's like, yeah, dude, like, my mom kept like seeing my eyes all red. And so I decided like, you know, I'll just, you know, my eyes don't get red if I take these. And I was like, this is, I did I, at the time I was like, oh, okay, you know, uh, enjoy that, I guess. But uh, lesson, lesson, he had an enormous amount of problems later in life due to those pills, like getting yeah, no pills. They were, and they were like, uh, I don't know the terminology of the pills. It's not something I'm into, but like, uh, they were whatever like the creme de la creme of the pills is like a high milligram of oxy. Yeah. Opiates. Yeah. It, yeah. It, but I know there's like different, like what's it called? What's the um, Percocet? Uh, oh, I don't know the tier list, I, but I, based on I, name I brand. Those ones aren't as pal- like Oxycontin is like the, the, the grand poobah, the king of those apparently. And, that, and that's what he was getting. Like, yeah. It's not something I've ever been into. Like I said, like, like no. I, whenever I'm prescribed it, Scary. I ain't saving them. I'm I'm taking them. I'm like, I've got permission to take these. You better believe I'm going to chew up these Tylenol 3s and have a good old time. Codeine, uh, I think, is the only thing I've had, though, because Tylenol 3 is codeine and yeah. Tylenol and uh, and obviously the codeine syrup. And they are wonderful, and I could see how they could be addictive uh, for sure. But I, 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 I knew to avoid that because I do, of course, have an addictive personality, mm-hmm. whether it's Total War Warhammer, fucking Harry Potter movies, or goddamn opiates so i always stayed away from that because i knew you know so many you could smoke weed every fucking day and you might get a cough you do fucking opiates every day and you're going to have a myriad of health problems and you're going to end up in rehab you know there's there's a difference of course you smoke pot every day you might end up in federal prison so there's there's, (laughs) uh, it's true but you weren't going through like shaky sweaty fever no when you were thrown into prison they're like oh this fucking pill popper heroin addict no, no, not at all. Um, future, like the only withdrawal worse than like those pills is alcohol. I think so too. Yeah, because people can die of that. Yeah, people alcohol can die of DTs. You have a seizure, and like even if it doesn't kill you that way, like you have a seizure, you like fall, bash your head open or something. Yeah, people die of alcohol withdrawal. Um, that's um, I think that's one of the things that sometimes they'll put people in a coma in to so that they just skip over that whole withdrawal thing i've never even heard about that that must be jordan peterson did really and he was on he was on benzos so i think maybe that's what it is it's not opiates maybe it's benzos and alcohol are the two that like can kill you if you're withdrawing hard enough not something i know a lot about i just i'm pretty sure that uh jordan peterson went to russia and they they did that thing where they put you in a induced coma Uh so that you skip over the withdrawal part of uh kicking whatever it was he was on psychologically i wonder how that adds or detracts from like relapse you know like i would imagine that somebody who's addicted to benzos and has to like white knuckle it through a big portion of it might be more likely in the future to be like you know what dude i really want one of these fucking benzo pills oh i want it so bad oh but i'm remembering how i felt in that hospital bed god that was a whole week of like feeling like i was gonna die no whereas if it was like the artificial coma I don't know, man. Suffer through it is hard. I guess you had to go to Russia and pay to be put into a coma. That's yeah, crazy. right. You're like, you're like, well, I had to spend a week in a coma the last time I was taking these. Maybe <laughs> fair. I mean, I got a lot of rest, but uh, yeah, I don't know about all that. I don't remember the first time I had concentrate. I don't remember where I got it or uh, or, or 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 what. 
Um, the main guy that I used to get wow. stuff with, I remember he would have it in these big, like golf ball size balls of it. That's a tenant. Yeah. He would have like a golf ball size ball of it. Like, how much you want? I'm like, well, how much fucking is it? And he'd tell me or whatever the price. I don't know what it was, like 30, 40 a, a gram or whatever. I'm like, um, yeah, well, cut me off 10 grams. Yeah, let's, let's just do that. Like 400 bucks. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yeah, and he just he just like take a knife and like 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 it's so thick and like it's hard to like yeah. cut off that much and <laughs> it's good stuff, good stuff. It got you nice and fucking high. So much high. I can't wait for your probation to be over. Oh, it's we gonna be a Kyle celebration. Start living again. It's gonna be a a celebration. We're gonna have a good old time. I was talking to the boys. I think I imagine Kyle that first day of freedom, opening your door in Colorado, and being like. <sighs> And then just turning around and going back inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm in a WhatsApp. I have the option to leave if I wanted. 